Hello, hey, I'm Eli for Edu for Hava, and this is tutorial number 9 of SQL. We're going to see functions. We're going to see five different types left, substring, concat, upper, and lower. Left, first of all, give us, give us, gives us the characters to the left. Substring gives us the characters of a word from the num number of characters we want to. For example, if we have a word of 10 characters and we give the number 3, the substring in function would give us every character of the word from the 3 to the 10. The aim of this tutorial is not to teach you really how these 4 or 5 functions work, but teach you how functions work in SQL. Fortunately, functions are not standard. They change from one database to another. When you start to work with a database, you have to check in the manual what are the names of the functions. But uh, basically, the functionality is the same. The name can change, but it works in the same way. For this tutori tutorial, I have the books table, which I modified a bit. I wrote the author with uppercase in some registers and in other with lowercase. We can see that here the author is Edu with lowercase and with uppercase. Imagine we have this situation. It's not the best thing. It's not really correct. Names are supposed to start with a capital letter and continue with uh, lowercase. Imagine we have to do a presentation. Um, for this, we're going to select the title and the author. OK, here it is. If we run, it's OK. But the name of the author, as you can see, doesn't look good without capital letter. There are only four, so we re could, could really change it one by, by, by one. But think that there could be a million of registers, so it would be great to do it through an instru in instruction. To try to do this, what I should do is separate the first letter and change it into a capital letter. And the rest of the letter of the names, separate them too and put them in small letters and put them back together afterwards. Let's see if I can explain myself. OK, let's um, copy this and work from here. Here it is. With the left function, I can ask author to give me one character from the left side. Let's run this. You can see. We're going to run this. See, we've got the first character. To this character, I can apply the function upper to change the char character to capital letter. Uh, sorry, I have to select this because if not, the first sentence will be run. As you see, we have the first letter and it has been changed to capital letter. Now what we have this, we are going to try to get the rest of the characters except the first uh, one. If I write um, here substring, the function substring, author, yes, and I tell him that I want the characters starting from the second letter. We run and we can see that instead of Edu, all the characters except the first one appears. And all of these characters are going to be changed with this function lower into lowercase characters. We select uh, what we want to run as we've done before and you get, as you can see, is the same as before, but everything in lowercase. Now what we have to do is to put these two together. There is a function, another different one that we've seen bef at the beginning, called concat. 
which receive as parameter two strings separated by a comma. For example, we can say, okay, one, one, well, beta xx and y, y. If we run, we can see that they are stuck together. Now, instead of xx, we are going to use this here, which has was the first letter with capital letter. And instead of y, y, we are going to use this here. We select all this and run. And we see that we have programmatically obtained what we wanted. Here we can see the name of the of the function and this is a bit ugly, it's too long. As we've done before, we can say that this field is called author, for example. And this way we give a name to the function as we've seen before, space and author. It was modified as we can see. This is a good example of how to use function in SQL. But we not only use functions with uh, select, we can also use functions in, um, for example, updates. Imagine now if we go to the books table, we can see this. That would be wrong as we've seen. It would be great to create an update which as a result will write this correctly. It would check author and change the first letter in capital letters and the rest with lowercase. Let's try to write it. Update and afterwards which table we want to update. In this case it would be books. We have to write set and then the field we would like to update. We The field we want to update is going to be author. We write author and we assign this formula here. We're going to update books and we're going to put what's inside author. Let's see what the formula did. We execute, we run these values from Arthur, changing the first letter to a capital letter and the rest in small letters. We see it for the last time before changing it. OK. I run this and every if everything is OK, I see that I'm, I've modified the table. This is OK. This is a very powerful. Imagine if there were 1 million registers and you had to do something manually. It would be a lot of work. But here we have solved it with a small instruction as this one. Um, I know this is a bit complicated, but if you watch the tutorial slowly, you surely understand. And the idea is to learn the function concept, how it really works. In the future, we'll see more functions, and by now, that is all. See you in the next tutorial. Bye.